What's up, everybody? Season 15 of Apex Legends is here, and you need to have your settings dialed in to be hitting those shots and making sure that you are enjoying it, because honestly, Apex is in a bit of a weird state right now. A lot of people are leaving for other games. Um, we're, we're expecting a lot. We have a new map. We have a new character, and uh, you need to be making sure you're hitting your shots, and you're going to do that by using these settings. I've been dialing in these settings for a few seasons now, and I've been tweaking it just like five points here, five points there every week just to finally get it to exactly where I wanted. And you're going to love these settings, guys. Let's go over it right now. Let's get rid of me. We're going to start with gameplay settings. And under the first option, interact prompt style, I go with compact. So it's a little less crowded, a little less information in front of my screen. I got my button hints on. Crosshair damage feedback is X with shield icon. I do like to have the numbers stacking so I don't have to worry about anything right above and they'll just do the counting for me essentially. Ping opacity default, obituaries on, mini map rotation I like to have off, weapon auto cycle on empty I have off just so it's not confusing but if you do want to uh, say empty your clip while you're hiding behind a knockdown shield you might want to have this on because then it will reload for you and you won't have those issues with controller. Auto sprint I have on, so I'm not just jamming my left stick in at all times. Double tap sprint is off. Jetpack control I have on hold. Um, something that you'll have to decide if you're a Valk main, which you which you prefer, but I think hold is definitely the way to go. Uh, taking damage closes death box or crafting menu. This is a big one. You want this off. You, you need to be able to craft. You need to be able to be in a death box without getting shoved out in fights. Obviously, it might be a good thing. If you uh, take that damage, you're able to react a little bit quicker, but at the end of the day, you do definitely need to get into a box sometimes when you get hit and, and not get sent right out of it. Um, or if you in like caustic gas and you need to go for a shield swap or grab heals, you know, you're not going to be able to do that whatsoever. Moving on through pop-up pop-ups on um, streamer mode. That's your preference. Anonymous mode is your preference as well. Uh, usage sharing I have enabled performance display I have on because I like to see um, what is going on as far as my PC that's just in the top right corner here my frames I have capped at 144 uh, my ping is at 50 even though I'm in the firing range it does tell me if I have any packet loss or choke or anything like that so definitely a good thing to kind of know what's going on with uh, with your system moving on through club invites I have enabled you can have that off or on that's up to you Communication filter is for everybody. You can change this if you want. If you uh, if you don't want to hear voice chat from people that are like other than your friends only, or you don't want anything to come through, you can definitely do that. I leave that on everybody. The retrical color, this is up to you. I personally like to have like a, a, a neon green. Um, you can definitely go with more of a red or a neon kind of blue. It, it really is up to you guys, but I, I personally like the green. I find I see this really well on all maps. It kind of pops up and i never have to worry about it even with the tree coloring it never never really gets in the way the only time it's ever really kind of blended in is on grass but i can still see what i'm doing continuing on down the laser site you can customize this as well i just leave that on default uh colorblind mode is off for me subtitles are off subtitle size doesn't matter because it's off enabled accessible chat features off convert incoming voice to chat text is off same with play incoming chat as speech is off that would get a little wild at times especially in the games so we're going to skip over mouse and keyboard because we're not really doing that we are doing controller alc settings today uh button layout i have as default depending on what, what like if you hit your panic punch and hit your r3 or whatever you might want to customize it or or if you have different things i have back pedals on my controller i just use two for sliding and jumping um but realistically this is this is really up to you and what you prefer um but i i keep it on default the interact reload button um is tap and use to reload Stretch button i have on toggle some people like it on hold this is really up to you i like to i i, I really do prefer it here i can still crush man pretty quick if i want to and uh, i don't have to hold it down to to be behind a rock and and while i'm doing other things it's really a preference one there guys uh aim button is hold as well Survival slot button is off. I recommend none with the trigger dead zones. You, you want to basically be able to like hit your hit your triggers and have you zoom in instantly. There's like no waiting. You just want to be zooming in on those essentially. 
Uh, menu cursor speed I have pretty high. It's a little bit over half. Um, realistically, you want this to be as high as you can navigate the menus with and uh, and be in control of it. You don't you don't really want to be in the menus unable to click on something. So find where, where it works for you, but the higher is the better for that. Um, all of these are ALCs that I work with. I don't really touch anything as far as like 4.3 four, classic or linear or any of that. I am all about the ALC settings and I'm going to show you exactly why. Movement dead zones I keep on small. Uh, inverted look is off. Vibration is off. I recommend this one is a big one that you turn off, guys. But going into the ALC settings, this is where it all matters the most. Um, you obviously have to have this on. You need to have your dead zones at round five. Outer threshold two, response curve two. This is what I'm running. This is what I found works the absolute best. Um, the dead zones is one that you will have to play with a little bit to uh, kind of figure out with your controller. Five might not be the perfect number for you. You might want to run four or three. We might run, want to run six, but realistically five is the one that works the best for me. I absolutely love this settings. To get my numbers down here, I basically every single week lowered it by one just so I never had a huge adjustment and my my gameplay just skyrocketed my shots i was hitting way more shots and uh i was just way more dialed in while doing it like this so i recommend like starting with this and and playing with it every single week upping a number by one or lowering a number by one seeing how it works for you and and see seeing see where it goes um as far as all of these numbers down here i don't have any extras and no ramp ups done it's straight up just yaw and pitch 400 310 this is your look speed. This is how quickly you get to move around. And this is your hip firing. Um, your ADS, you need this to be a little bit slower, guys. There's no reason to have this quicker. Basically, as far as ADS is concerned, if you ever find that if you are aiming on someone and you are able to hit every single shot while they're standing still, you're good. That's where you want to find your ALC. That If you find that you're ever shooting somebody and you're going side to side, or you can't track them while they're moving, that is when you have your 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 ADS sense too high and you need to lower that basically. And that'll just allow you to get more dialed in here. Target conversation on, melee conversation on, and that is your ALCs. This is the biggest thing, guys. You guys need to dial this in. You're gonna love these settings. Um, let me know in the comments if you changed anything to these settings, I would love to hear it. I'd love to see what you did, what worked for you but please do let me know what, what you think about these settings and how they feel for you, because I honestly love them, and I've been working for about six months on my ALCs to get them to this point where there's nothing better. There's nothing better for me. Those are my settings, and honestly, with Season 15 here, you're going to be beaming with these settings. You're going to absolutely love them. Once again, though, guys, please do let me know what you think of them in the comments. Hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Enjoy 15 out there, guys. It's going to be a ton of fun with a new legend and a new map. Have a great rest of your day.